Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to fix that you can't import MP4 in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're running into any problems while importing an MP4 in DaVinci. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. Now I actually go over multiple solutions in this video and the first one actually being updates. So there's really a quick thing I want to mention here is that of course make sure that first of all DaVinci Resolve is up to date to the latest version. This can definitely play a role because in the most recent DaVinci Resolve updates, you're actually able to import more video files. So some video files that previously weren't able to be imported in DaVinci Resolve can actually in the more recent versions be imported. So make sure that first of all, of course, your DaVinci Resolve is up to date, as I said, but also for example, something as simple as your Windows is actually also up to date because sometimes those fixes can be in a small corner like that. So do make sure also that in case your Windows is up to date, but that's just something I want to quickly mention first. Okay, then here, as you can see when I'm on my desktop right here, I actually have the DaVinci Resolve short shortcut right here and so if I go right click on it and go to properties I actually want to go to compatibility here I want to make sure that either run this program as administrator is checked or unchecked because in both ways it could actually be a factor if it's checked it could cause a problem and if it's unchecked it could cause a problem so really just alternate between the two to check if that works but of course this generally means that if you run DaVinci Resolve it will automatically run as administrator which in general helps more than not but you never know now when it actually comes to how to import a video in DaVinci Resolve so how to import a mp4 file in DaVinci Resolve it's actually quite simple actually two main ways to do that first of all we go to first of all edit down here as you can see you have to be in the edit tab right click on the media pool here do import media and then select a video in question right here as you can see i have videos prepared right here as you can actually click on one of those videos right here to import it or if you actually have a file explorer open already as you can see right here outside of davinci resolve you can also actually take the video and drag it in here in the media pool same thing but it actually brings me to the first solution right here because as you can see if i take this video that has an emoji in the title here and i try to drag it on here as you can see, it won't let me import the video. What you actually want to do then is first of all, of course, obviously rename it and remove the emoji right here. But also cases where there's actually also an emoji in the title, which might not always be visible. How you can actually remove that is actually right click here, go to properties, go to details. And as you can see right here, the title also still has an emoji right here. So I'm just going to remove it like that and just click OK. And so there you go. Very important. Make sure that in case it can also be a title that has the emoji in it. So even though you renamed the file right here by removing the emoji, it can actually also be in the title and it can also be a factor and so DaVinci Resolve won't allow you to import that video file anyway and so if I minimize this again and I take the video right here as you can see I just have to click change here I can in fact now import this video right here as you can see now a second way to actually make a video file readable is if for example you go to view right here show I'm going to go to file name extensions and right here as you can see behind as you can see behind the actual title of the video it says what format it is so here as you can see it's just an mp4 but here as you can see it's an mkv now, mkv is a video format that should normally be read by the DaVinci Resolve. So that shouldn't be a problem. But imagine it's something else that does have a problem that has a hard time importing because it's not an MP4 wave or another readable video format by DaVinci. In that case, what you can do is just rename it. Actually go back here with the arrow. And so in this case, just type MP4. And then here it says, if you change the file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Now in this case, yes, because we're changing it to an MP4. Just click yes. And there you go, as you can see. Now don't worry about this as the thumbnail. But as I said, it will actually be usable right now. Okay, so there you go for a third solution in the case the second solution didn't work by changing the video format in the title. There's actually a third solution in that where I can actually convert to an MP4, obviously. So that's what we're going to type here. We're going to do convert to MP4. Now there will be multiple options right here, but I'm going to go, for example, for cloud convert right here. Okay, so as you can see right here, here's a whole list of what it can convert to and of course vice versa if you want the file in our case for example right here the mkv and then to mp4 and as you can see we can also do that up here i'm just going to type mkv and then to mp4 right here i'm going to do file now you can do from a computer but you can also do a url or of course google drive dropbox or onedrive so i'm just going to do from my computer so right here i'm going to choose the third video right here which once again is an mkv I'm just going to select it it will be readable anyway the mkv but at least it will be an mp4 in this case i just want to click convert right here then so just make sure that everything is good right here that you select the right video and that you convert to mp4 right here and then click convert it will upload pretty quickly depending on the video as you can see processing and here as you can see it will show you like this so this is basically my video and i'm going to do download and it will simply appear up here in the right corner so we can do then just to show in folder. Now it should appear in your downloads. As you can see, if I click on it, it plays the video as usual. And as you can see, I can also just put this here in DaVinci. You can see right here. And don't worry about the audio. This video didn't have any audio to begin with. Okay, there's actually one little last bonus thing I wanted to mention. It's a little small detail within DaVinci Resolve, but make sure that this V1 right here and A1 are selected. This means the video and this the audio. Because as you can see, if I deselect this and remove the clip right here, as you can see if it's deselected, 
and I import it, as you can see, only the audio will be imported. And so if all of these are deselected, as you can see, if I drag it right here, nothing will happen, as you can see. So that's very important to always make sure. So if you just got DaVinci Resolve or you just discovered that that's a problem, just make sure that right here everything is selected for, as I said, the video and then in this case, the audio tracks, no matter how many they are. Always make sure they're selected like this. But that was just a little bonus in case you could actually import a video format, but not actually drag it to the timeline. But I think it was actually worth mentioning it if you had a more specific problem there. But anyways, guys, I tried to cover the most possible solutions on why you can't import MP4 in DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you still have any questions, leave them down below. But in any case, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe, it would also be really nice. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.